Uh, this is packet 9, number 2, and we're trying to find the average speed between t equals 5 and t equals 5 plus delta t, so just a few, a split second past uh, when t is 5. So in order to find average speed, we're looking for the slope between those two points, um, and in order to do the slope, we need the change in the y's divided by the change in the x's. So our y's are f of 5 plus delta t minus f of 5. And our delta x, well, our x is 5 plus delta t minus 5. Okay, in order to do those specifically, we need our function value. Our function is 4.9t squared. Well, we're, we need to find what f of 5 plus delta t is. So in that case, I'm going to have 4.9 times, I need to substitute in the 5 plus delta t, and I need to square that value. Now f of 5, that one's a little bit easier. f of 5 means I just need to put in 4.9 times 5 squared. And that's all going to be divided by the f of 5 plus delta t minus 5. So all of that is just delta t. Uh, moving on a little bit on the problem, we need to do some algebra, which means I need to take the 4.9, and I need to multiply it by the 5 plus delta t squared. Well, that means I have to either do a box or foil, whichever way you think about it. Uh, but the result of that is going to be 25 plus 10 delta t plus delta t squared. And then I'm going to have minus 4.9 times 25. And all of this is still over delta t. 4.9 times 25 is 122.5. Okay, so that value will come in twice. I'll have 122.5 plus 49 delta t. I'm distributing the 4.9 plus 4.9 delta t squared minus 122.5, still over delta t. Now at this point, if you are doing these problems correctly, algebraically, all the terms left after you cancel out what you can cancel out on the numerator, every term should have a delta t left in it. And that's kind of a check for you to see if you're doing the problem correctly. So on the numerator, I'm going to factor out a delta t. And I'll have 49 plus 4.9 delta t, all divided by delta t. Those delta t's can cancel. And I'm left with 49 plus 4.9 delta t. This is the answer to A. For B, what's the instantaneous velocity of delta t? Well, what that means is you're going to need to take a limit as delta t approaches zero. And you're going to take the delta you're going to take the limit of what you just found 
but 49 plus 4.9 delta t. When delta t approaches 0, this term will go to 0. The 49, however, the delta t it going to 0 doesn't affect that 49 at all. So our limit is 49. So at t equals 5, the ball's instantaneous velocity is 49.